And I also think that comes back to the idea of how we has to change the building industry in general mm -hmm. because resources are scarce and we have to think about where it comes from. Mm -hmm. And I think the most interesting place to take something from is from the actual site. It's a complete yeah. different way to work as an architect. It's a completely different way. So you look at what you have and yes. you design from that point, instead of just designing something and then finding the materials afterwards. So exactly. We have, for a long period of time, talked a lot about how we have to build buildings that merge together with the surroundings. Yeah. But we always do that by starting to demolish mm. everything on the plot that we're going to build. Mm. And I really think that the next step forward is to think about that the plot is just as much as part of the surroundings mm. as the adjacent buildings are. Mm. So we try to look at as this as a huge storage for existing resources that we can use for the building process. And then, of course, there's the question of aesthetics, as you said, because as you, as a trained architect, of course, you have a certain aesthetic, but if you're sort of forced to use what is here, it will affect the way it looks, it will affect the, 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 the aesthetics of the place. Yeah, and I think that is, to me, the most interesting yeah. part of it as an architect, because historically there's always been a very intimate connection between ethics and aesthetics. And I think right now we are, like most people have and some aesthetic preferences that not necessarily is very good for our environment. Yeah. And I think in order to change that, mm. we have to face that we have to change our aesthetic preferences. Yeah. And I hope that this project will be, um, we will be able to do so, mm. or at least raise some questions about what we like and what we don't like. Yeah.